Setting up your Sirius XM weather and audio equipment can be easily accomplished through a few simple steps. Continuous Sirius XM satellite updates, which are also accessible on the ground unlike FISB, can assist you in making better, more timely flight decisions. To get started, let's talk about how to find your SXM radio ID on your Sirius XM weather capable device. Service is activated by providing codes unique to your compatible SXM weather device. Sirius XM uses the radio ID to send an activation signal that allows your Garmin device to display weather data and or entertainment programming. To access the radio ID on your ERA 660 or 760, from the main menu, touch Tools, and then tap Data Link. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the 8-digit ID that is your radio ID. On the Garmin GDL51 or 52 series receivers, the radio ID is available in the product box, the unit's SN tag, or the system information page of your connected device. On retrofit displays, ensure that your device is properly configured to receive satellite weather. The data link status page provides the information necessary for activating the SXM satellite radio services. To access this page, view the data link information page from the tab of the appropriate GDU or GDL. The radio ID could also be located on the back of the data link receiver or the Sirius XM satellite radio activation instructions included with the unit. If the audio radio ID and or data radio ID do not display during Garmin data link operation, contact a Garmin dealer. On integrated flight decks, ensure that your device is properly configured to receive satellite weather. The radio ID could be located on the label on the back of the data link receiver, the AUX XM information page on the MFD, or the Sirius XM satellite radio activation instructions included with the unit. If the audio radio ID and or data radio ID do not display during GDL69 operation, contact a Garmin dealer. Before SXM satellite weather can be used, the service must be activated. The service level will depend on the SXM weather subscription plan purchased. You can set up your account and preview several subscription packages available by going to www.seriousxm.com aviation and selecting the suitable package that best suits your flying needs. By going to subscribe now, you'll see the place to enter your radio ID and set up your subscription. Once you have services activated, you'll want to test the functionality. For Sirius XM weather, on a connected device, view the weather products list and confirm that your subscribed services are listed. Services should be activated within one hour. You must also be sure that you have the latest software updates in your device. This information can be found on flygarmin.com. To check your signal strength on your unit, locate your device's GPS status page. A graph will depict GPS signal strength, as well as depicting the progress of satellite acquisition. If it's been a while since you last flew, you'll want to refresh the receiver by going to SiriusXM.com slash refresh. You will need your radio ID. See your owner's manual for more information on activating your SXM weather on your capable device. <laughs>